Alright, how is it going guys? Thanks a lot for joining me for another beer review, uh, looking at some NHL playoff beers today. Uh, first day of 2018 NHL playoffs, watching some great hockey, uh, watching the uh, first ever playoff game from the Vegas Golden Knights. Um, yeah, they're doing great right now, uh, winning at the end of the first period and super stoked. Uh, just uh, reviewed a beer. Um, beginning of the uh, first period and uh, that went down way too quick so I figured review another one. Uh, beer I'm really looking forward to reviewing for you guys. Uh, beer I got from my buddy Ben. Um, thanks a lot man. Really liking the collective art spears you uh, sent me the uh, other week. Uh, more on the way actually so I'll have more reviews to do for you guys in the uh, near future. But uh, yeah a uh, collective arts uh, brewing out in um where are they uh, Hamilton Ontario Canada um, this is their barrel aged imperial porter I believe bourbon barrel aged 11.5 percent alcohol by volume and I absolutely love that artwork looks like uh, the Kremlin buildings in Russia with like some sort of bear thing going on which is pretty Russian in itself because we all know Russian people are all bears, according to Family Guy. But uh, yeah, 11.5% uh, alcohol by volume, pretty strong brew. Um, I believe the original Imperial Porter was uh, like 9.5, maybe 8.5, right around there. So a uh, pretty big boost in ABV. But um, yeah, heard some good stuff about this beer. Really dug the uh, Imperial Porter, which I'm going to have to review. I'm getting more of those uh, cans in. But um, yeah, excited to get this on the track poured. See how it is. First ever uh, bottled beer I've had from uh, Collective Arts. Usually they come in uh, tall boy cans. And uh, yeah. Pretty cool. I'll have to use the uh, bottle for homebrew once I'm done with that. Um, yeah, pours a, wow, really beautiful head. Um, usually these barrel-aged beers, it's got a lot less of a head, especially for the strength. Um, but uh, two fingers, fluffy, frothy, um, deep khaki kind of head. Uh, really nice looking brew. Um, pitch black for the most part. There's a little bit of a gleam of ruby red light at the bottom but that is a really beautiful dak looking beer. A um, little bit of alcohol eggs down the sides of the glass there and uh, let's get an aroma. Super fruity. A uh, little bit of that barrel character. Again I think it's bourbon and it does have that kind of bourbon barrel kind of thing going on, that uh, slight like vanilla, caramel kind of note, slight nuttiness, but a big, big dark fruit kind of thing, hints of like a nice sweet chocolate, some dark chocolate, stuff like that, not really a uh, bitter kind of coffee thing going on at all, but yeah, that smells uh, really, really nice, let's give it a taste. Cheers, everybody. Hmm. It almost has like a cinnamon vibe to it. That's cool. There's definitely like a, a raisin dark fruit kind of thing going on. You get prunes, plums, dates, that kind of thing. Definite brown sugar, uh, you get that molasses. Um, definitely can tell it's a porter, not a stout. It's more on those dark fruit notes, on those uh, uh, molasses, um, brown sugar notes, rather than the roasty, um, toasty stout kind of things. But there is still this nice creamy kind of mouthfeel. Um, the biggest thing for me with these barrel aged uh, high ABV, um, stouts, porters, whatever, is the mouthfeel. Often they can be super thin, super boozy. You can definitely taste the booze in this beer, but it's still got this nice full kind of mouthfeel, medium full kind of thing. It's not chewy, but it's not thin at all. It's still got that lip smacking kind of thing. Lips are starting to get that uh, sugary, like you ate too much candy as a kid, that kind of mouthfeel going on, and I really dig that. 
but it's not too sweet. It's not too boozy. It's just right amount of everything, you know. Collective Arts, really good brewery. I mean, I've liked them since first time I tried them. But every time I have a beer from them, I respect them more and more as brewers. I mean, they can <laughs> nail pretty much any style. The uh, Guava Goza I had, phenomenal. The IPA number five, one of the best Canadian brewed IPAs I've ever had. Um, yeah, like <laughs> they can put out anything. The uh, State of Mind Session IPA, really dug that. Um, their Blonde Ale, stuff like that. And now the uh, Imperial Porters. You know, love the original, loving this barrel aged one, so really stoked on them. Gonna have to review the uh, original Imperial Porter in a bit, as I actually like that one more than this one. Um, I actually like uh, non barrel aged uh, porters and stouts more than uh, barrel aged ones. It's just my preference, I find them more sweeter. But uh, as for the style, I uh, really dig it. I mean, I would put this in a. Uh, a minus verging on a kind of thing um, it's really damn good 11.5 percent is hidden <laughs> really really well uh, you do get a little bit of booze but just enough to let you know hey buddy don't freaking tank this whole 500 mil bottle in like uh, a couple sips you know like uh, slow down slow down you know enjoy it don't just be a dumbass about it you know uh, really good stuff uh, another great one I'm gonna go like a I don't know 93 it's really cool um, yeah definitely gonna have to uh, review this original Imperial Porter also getting their breakfast stout in a couple days here that should be delicious uh, I think a couple more of their beers um, yeah but uh, thanks again to Ben for sending me this beer and all of the other collective arts beers you've been hooking me up with, man. It's an absolutely saintly deed you are um, doing. So, yeah, cheers. Uh, thanks for, for watching, everybody. Let me know what y'all think of Collective Arts, any of their other beers. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, cheers.